all right what's going on y'all how you doing um so yeah shit's going on uh i knew i was i was like yeah i'll make videos and then so for the last month um i've had issues with my corneas uh so i'm going through like a rehab trying to fix them um so for a few weeks uh in january i could barely even see the computer um it was really hard to look at a screen or anything i just it just all turned into a blur um which is okay for like watching videos of drummers drumming but it sucks for editing and all that stuff so ben <laughs> was coming back and then had to dip out for a little bit but uh, my eyes are getting better and uh so i should be able to get back into it and start doing that also babies are a lot of work i don't know if you knew this but i had a baby second child in uh december and they um they don't do what you want them to do and they don't sleep when you want them to sleep so um that's another thing but whatever we're gonna watch some uh some drumming today we're gonna watch thomas pridgen and uh you know i have to share my anecdote about thomas pridgen uh when i went to you might be able to see the shirt over there, the Stanford Jazz Workshop. I was probably 16 years old, and I think Thomas was also at that Stanford Jazz Workshop session. And he was maybe 13, but like he had this sick custom pearl drum set that was like this rainbow hologram kind of color on it. And like he was there on a scholarship and just killing it. And um, that was a really great time. Um, <laughs> this is where I met uh, Greg Hutchinson, who was my teacher for a little bit and one of my favorite drummers of all time. Um, and look, if you're really like serious about like if you want to get into jazz drumming, you're really serious about becoming a jazz drummer. Go follow Hutch on Instagram and hit him up for some lessons because he does uh, Zoom lessons and he lives in Italy, but he'll do lessons. I mean, he can do lessons with anybody, but like you spend an hour with that dude just letting him teach you what he knows and uh you're gonna improve a hundred times over like just pick it just listening to him talk so um but anyway stanford jazz workshop that was where i met hutch that's where i started taking lessons with him and thomas was there and um it was crazy because he was this he's you know i think he was 12 maybe 13 and was smoking everybody i mean he was just uh, head and shoulders above every other drummer as far as just the skills that he brought to the kit the sound that he brought out of the kit it was crazy to like there was there was jealousy too you know you're 16 17 year old you're coming from a you're a big fish in a small pond and you go to this workshop and there's this 13 year old you know gospel drummer who's just destroying everyone he's just gonna go oh my god i don't practice enough um anyway so uh that's my little anecdote about Thomas. Uh, I think we actually even lived in the same like dorm area. Well, they didn't have dorms. They put us up in old frat houses. And um, I think he was in the same building I was in or something. Um, hung out with him a couple times. I think we uh, lived at each other a couple times. But um, anyway, I also am familiar with what he did with the Mars Volta. Uh, my buddy John was there. Um, audio guy one of their audio guys and i think in the transition from john theodore to thomas uh pridgen john was on the crew at that time so um I'm a, I'm a fan of his work i'm excited to see what this zildjian live is about I haven't watched it yet it's been out for a while and uh we're, we'll check it out right now actually i'm gonna move this because it's kind of in my way and hopefully that doesn't ruin everything. All right, let's click it and let's watch Thomas um, fucking beat the living hell out of his drums. Click it. Okay. Oh, wrong one. That's Bill Burr. Let's do this one. Let's click it. All right, here we Welcome go. Welcome to Zildjian Live. Oh, good, the band. Good. I like this band. For Thomas Pridgen. Thomas Pridgen. Is that Mike Dolbear? Mike Dolbear from MikeDolbear.com. Uh oh Fuck yeah, dude. And his mono. Yeah, that's right. He's in this band. I started following people on Instagram. So like now I know who people are. It 
single pedal. Power. He's one of those just pure power drummers, man. I won't say he's pure power, but like when he puts the power out, it is pure. <laughs> Heard a drag? Fuck off, dude. That's a red guy. Stinky. Ronell loves it. A little triplet break, like. Yeah. <laughs> Too much to say about that. And I really like his symbol selection. He's got some vintage symbols on there. Here we go. Ulia, ulia, ulia. Come on. Let's give a let's give some props to the band for holding that shit together. Holy shit! There's a lot of Mars Volta influence in this. These crazy like timeless breakdowns. Timeless. They they feel like there's no time, but there's a one somewhere. All these symbols. Oh yeah. What are you excited about? Oh, I see. <laughs> Look at the room! <laughs> yeah. That was so clean. Yeah. Oh, come on. Are you gonna start playing a rash beat? If he had a China, he'd beat the shit out of it. <laughs> Tell you that much. No, it's over, dude. Get off them damn drums. 
unbelievable. That band, man. Holy cow. That band is sick. And that's, it's, it, the music perfectly suits his style, like. <laughs> One more. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> Holy shit. I gotta get into all these. Omar Hakim. Will Kennedy, Aaron Spears. I got to watch all this shit. All right. Anyway. 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 Damn. Damn. It's crazy to think that, like, there was a time when he was 13 and you were like, damn, that kid. It's the same thing with Tony Royster Jr. You're like, you see this young person playing and you're like, well, that's, they're, they're great and they're going to, like, but the degree to which they improve over the years... Like you almost go like ah oh, they can't get any better than that no they can get they can get better than that that's that's pretty damn solid still jealous <laughs> still jealous all these years later anyway uh, that was Thomas Prigen Prigen um, I'm gonna go put some eye drops in and um, and then do some shit so anyway thanks for sticking around thanks for hanging out um, bear with me while I get um, my shit fixed and deal with that but uh i'll see you